And we're taking a live look outside at Fort Worth. Not quite the same as Hawaii. Let's get over to Brittany Rainey. And 96.3 is what we dream of the temperature being. That would be so Wouldn't nice. Wouldn't that be nice? That, that would be, be nice. so great. I would take 96 degrees, especially if it felt like 96 degrees at this point, because we still have temperatures that are going to be up to 105 this afternoon. And then we're going to be feeling up to 112 at times, which is why our weather alert has been extended today, because that excessive heat warning has also been extended through this evening. We'll likely see it through to the weekend. So any heat stroke or heat exhaustion, those are real concerns over the next several days, staying in the heart of summer for us. And that red flag warning again today, especially along and west of I-35 is where we have that critical fire threat. And we could see a few showers early next week. We're mainly looking at Monday evening and then again on Tuesday evening, which is good news because with the latest update of the drought monitor, we are seeing more of that severe drought being expanded over into Hood County and parts of Somerville County. Unfortunately, the rain that we do have in the forecast, it's not a very good soaking rain, which is what we would need to help alleviate some of the drought conditions. These are just going to be spotty light showers, and a lot of us, we're going to be staying dry. But we do have that critical fire threat. As I mentioned, west of 35, humidity will be dropping down to around 18 to 20 percent. We have that dry vegetation, so any fire that does develop has that potential to very quickly spread out of control, and even an elevated fire threat east of I-35. So today, we're not going to break or tie any records. Tomorrow, though, our forecast 107, that is the record for the day, so we could tie that temperature high. And then looking at Sunday, we're still going to be within just a couple of degrees of that record. And then even into Monday, 102, and that's going to be one of our cooler days of the next seven, with Tuesday looking to be the coolest right now. But here's that excessive heat warning. You can see it throughout all of North Texas and then still up into the central plains, down along the Gulf Coast. We're even seeing it expanding off to the west. But we'll finally start to see a little bit of rain trying to creep in as we get into Monday and Tuesday of next week with this ridge shifting a little bit further off to the west. And that will allow a weak front to move into our area and just a couple of spotty showers with the highest rainfall totals up along the Red River. Your first alert seven day forecast, though, we continue the triple digits right through Monday. Tuesday. Tuesday, maybe we'll stay under that century mark. And then Wednesday and Thursday, we're back up to 104.